Peggy 16. This is Brink's character customization system where, irrespective of whether you play online or offline, you're able to advance your same in-game character and create a really unique identity for yourself. I've been playing for a while and I've unlocked El Salvadorian and Russian gangster tattoos. I think I'll stick with El Salvadorian. I can also choose my archetype. But what's great is I can also change my body type to be, for example, a big guy that can take tons of damage and use heavy weapons. But I'm going to go with a medium body type that gives me a good balance between the damage that I can take and my overall agility. I have to have a radical haircut. And I think I'm going to go with a different archetype. And I can make subtle changes too, things like my face overlay. So I could have adhesive bandages on my face or even combat face paint. But these guys, the resistance, they represent the refugees that live in abject poverty. Much of their equipment is begged or borrowed or stolen, and this is represented by the kind of gear that you get as you level up. Now clearly I would have a tan living on the Ark, and I'm going to tint my skin tone to represent that. And what's more, as I've leveled up, I've unlocked some great outfits, things like this car tire armour made from reclaimed vehicle parts. And these leather straps with attached bing bags. On top of that, when I select an outfit, I can go into its properties and make changes to the colour too. I'm going to go ahead and select orange, which will be my clan colours when I play online. As the Resistance, we see ourselves as freedom fighters fighting for a fairer distribution of resources against what's perceived to be an oppressive security force. But in Brink, you can also play as that oppressive security force too. Of course, these guys don't see themselves as oppressors. They see themselves as just trying to maintain law and order in an otherwise unstable environment. My two favorite outfits that I've unlocked so far, I guess, have to be the shield. The shield is one of these heavy duty outfits that just represents what a badass I've become to all of my friends that I'm playing with online. But I also like playing roles like the operative, and when I'm playing that role, I want to play something that's more stealthy, more slick. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and pick the look. Fighting for the security, I'm going to see their side of the battle with unique cinematics. And that's a quick overview of Brink's character customization system.